Now, after two and a half very turbulent years as Dr. Young, actress Nadine Lewington is about to say goodbye to Holby in an epic exit from the show. But before we have a preview of her explosive final storyline, and there's no clue in that, by the way, here's Nadine as the ever popular Dr. Maddie Young. didn't want to frighten the patients. Well, there's not too much to worry about. <laughs> oh, yeah, happy day. <laughs> Do you two know each other? He's my dad. You can phone the dissection. Me? Don't try to remove the tack, you'll make it ten times worse. Excuse me. Somebody. You know that I need somebody. I've got to get out of here. Oh, and Nadine Lewington, who plays Dr. Maddie Young, joins us right now. Welcome. You've loved the, the medical stuff of the, of the job, haven't you? You've really enjoyed learning about it. Oh, it's been great. Well, not that I've remembered any of it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, if anyone falls down, you know, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's been, it, it's, it's been great. And it's very interesting. There's always someone on hand to talk to you about, you know, what it is that you're actually saying. Um, yeah, and people think you're actually quite clever. But yes. you went to an operation, though, didn't you? Didn't you attend a, a, an operation right yeah, at the very beginning? Absolutely. Yeah, most of us do actually. I mean, you have a, you have a choice. But um, I shadowed an SHO around a hospital for a shift, um, which was quite enlightening. Yeah. I pretended I was a consultant, <laughs> and um, yeah, I did actually go in on an open heart operation, and uh, stood over. You went in. Yeah, yeah, four hours. As opposed operation. to walking in, rather than going in. Oh right, no, no, no. I. <laughs> I didn't um, have They don't the let Holby people operate no, these days, but I do they? I did have the best seat in the house. I was actually sort of stood over, like right close. It wow. Was, it was, it was and great. you didn't feel that you wanted to pass out or anything? No. Just fascinated. I, yeah, it was. And it was because obviously you've got all the sort of cloth covering, you know, the actual person. So it's, you, it's quite sort of. Um, you know, you can kind of forget what it is you're looking mm. at. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really fun. So that person never knew as they were lying there that there was a future Holby <laughs> no, star bless them. watching them have their open heart imagine? operation. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. that would be horrible, wouldn't it, to know? What, they were who there? Exactly. How was I looking? Exactly. Anyway, the, Maddie Young has had such a, a fantastic set of storylines in the last couple of years. Thank you. She's had the um, her mad sister Hannah, well not mad, but sister Hannah on the heroin. Problematic. Problematic, yeah. it's not easy, and she's, yeah. you've had to save her. You've had your niece, Sunny, um, your sister's oh, know, little girl. That was, devastating, that was devastating. I know, I was weeping in the evenings because you just carry that with you when you're mm. playing a story like that. that do was, you? Yeah, you do. I do anyway. Because mm. your sister gave her a drug overdose dose and you yeah. had to Absolutely. sort it, but lost her. Yeah, sadly, these things. Uh, then you've had the mad prison cellmate of Sister Hannah's, Chantelle. She yeah. came in and had to be a patient, you had to sort her out. And you've had to lie and cover up everything. Yep, reluctantly, Maddie once again tries to save the day by breaking all the rules. Mm. Um, she follows her heart as opposed to her head. And, um, yeah, gets found out again. <laughs> and uh, Rick is there to witness it all again. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, she has the sort of uh, opportunity of promotion mm. snatched away from her. Well, we've got to be we've got to be very careful as we pick our way through, you know, the the, the exit of the character mm. um, you leaving because um, because we don't want to spoil it for anybody, least of all no. members of your family. Yes, yes, my mother's going to be devastated when you go because she adores Holby and um, tonight is the first of, of two ma major episodes for you, isn't it, yeah. tonight and next week? Yeah. Where, um, where we see Maddie, is she going, isn't she going, is life going to be happy, isn't it? And it looks as if it's on a roll, because tonight you get given this huge job to finally, do a kidney transplant. Absolutely, finally. Oh, yeah, the kidney transplant. And you're in charge. I'm in charge. She saves the day. Fantastic. Finally, she's on a roll. Um, Rick realises she's actually an amazing doctor, which everybody else knew anyway. <laughs> and <laughs> finally, yeah, she, she, she gets her interview. And she's on she, her way to it. She gets her interview. She gets her interview. She yeah. gets her interview she gets for the job, interview. for the promotion. Yeah. yeah, so she's on her way to the interview and um, she makes a tall, dark, shadowy figure in the toilets. We've put together a little bit of this week's episode and a little bit of next week's episode. 
and this is about as far as I think we're prepared to go. I need to check the wind. It's fine. I checked it in the mirror last night. You can barely see it. Better. You're almost healed. Well, in that case, what the hell's all this fuss about? Dan, what, what are you doing here? Call me Dr. Bad Penny. <laughs> I would have sent a card, but I couldn't find the sorry you've been stabbed section. She was lucky. You do the op? I resuscitated her. Two litres in her chest. She stabilised. And they catch you? Her. Uh, some girl connected to Maddie's sister. I got the job. <laughs> That's... Unexpected. Deserved. So do I shake your hand, or...? Or... Definitely, or... Oh, 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 so hang on, hang on a minute. <laughs> so your whole life is coming together now. Dan, yeah. gorgeous Dan, has come back and he's obviously <sighs> saying he hopefully won't go again. You've got the, the job that we don't talk about, and yet you've got some sort of unpleasant scar in your back. Yeah, that's from tonight's episode. Mm. The tall, dark, shadowy figure. The tall, dark, shadowy figure. In the ladies' loo. In the ladies' loo. So we yeah. don't know whether it is... <sighs> Sunset or cemetery. You have no idea where hey, this is going to go. Hey, maybe neither do I. Huh. You know, nothing is as it seems. Well, if you don't know, I then think. we seriously. Have it. <laughs> what um, What are you What are you going to to do now? What are your What are your plans? Because um, you've got is there is there a wedding coming up? Maybe. Right. Maybe. So you've got not only have you got this big sort of change of of career. Yeah. Um, and leaving a family like that must be very tough. Um, yeah, but also I'm, putting in together. Fact, I'm getting quite emotional just watching it. Yeah, I was watching like all the episodes that I've missed over the last few weeks yesterday, and I was like wailing. <laughs> oh. But yeah, Ooh, sorry. and uh, and so you've got to you're putting your putting your wedding together as well. Yeah, planning a wedding. You're going to be yeah. Mrs. Malarkey. Yes, I am. I love that. I know it's a good name, isn't it? What a what so so and 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 future hubby is an actor. Future hubby's an actor. American. American, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and called Michael Malarkey. Called Michael Malarkey. So yeah. you'll be getting up to some Malarkey over the next month when you're organising this wedding. Yeah, it's it's been it's been quite interesting. So obviously I've done quite a lot of it while I've that still been working. That was a grim but... joke. Well, it was really <laughs> well, it made me grim. laugh. Grim. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so well good luck, Mrs. Malarkey. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, and who knows, American husband, it could be Hollywood next. Well, hey. Yeah. I Maybe. expect so. Watch this space. You're going to miss my... My father's just gone into Holby as well as a patient. No way! Yeah, yeah, he's just recorded them last week, so they'll be coming up soon. Oh, wow! He has to have a very you know complicated who, operation. Do you know who was operating on him, though? Um, two, two consultant surgeons had to oh, operate seriously? on him, because it was then. a very complicated operation. Cardio? Yeah. Cardio, yeah. yes, you're quite right, yes. Connie... Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know about that because okay. I haven't pressed him because yep. I don't want to know what the end result is. Well, he's still recovering. Well, yeah. Yes, yes, of course he's still recovering. He <laughs> phoned, he sounded all right. <laughs> I think that was quite a nice job because you could lie down for two or three days. It is. <laughs> actually, when, when I was a little bit crook in, in that, yeah, I actually got to lay in the bed. It was so nice. Was like this. <laughs> this nice and warm. Yeah. Listen, yeah. thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Yes, good luck. Thanks for coming Cheers. in. Right, still to come, Donna Eyre is in the kitchen. Back in a minute. <laughs>